Hello, George. Thank you very much for speaking with us. My pleasure. So you're going to be in one of the panel sessions later today. Yes, I will. Uh, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about what you're going to be talking about. I'll be talking about uh, basically human terrain mapping of urban street gangs in Los Angeles. Uh, looking at the social and geographic spaces occupied by gang as a group and also the individual gang members' patterns of association. So what are the developments then you've seen in uh, geospatial intelligence in your sector over the past few years? It, it was very interesting in that when I uh, was over here in the UK about four or five years ago, uh, I was invited to speak on the work that I do on urban street gangs for an audience much like uh, here at DGI, mostly defense. And I couldn't, for the life of me, quite understand why they wanted to hear about the work I do on urban street gangs uh, until I listened to another group of presenters uh, throughout the day talk about tribes and groups in Iraq and Afghanistan and realize that the motivation for violence, the, uh, met, uh, the, the reasons that people will join these groups, whether they're gangs, insurgencies, um, are, are, are very similar. It was basically as if one could strike out Afghanistan, replace it with Los Angeles, strike out tribes, replace it with uh, gangs. And uh, so it, that, that's really kind of what brought me into this uh, human terrain modeling arena. So what are you going to be speaking about specifically then in your session? Specifically just talk about how we use this uh, methodology for trying to understand the construction of gangs and to design effective uh, programs for reducing gang violence. And what, ha what have you actually found so far then? What have your findings been? Um, we've been able to demonstrate that if you understand at the group level the relationships uh, or the rivalries that link gangs together, um, that there may be certain nodes in a network that may have a larger impact on reducing crime and gun violence by, uh, than if you were to pick some gang or set of gangs randomly. So the, the data is very important for helping one think about how to allocate resources. Uh, the other thing from a social science standpoint and understanding the spatial diffusion of violence that <clears throat> uh, it may not be apparent that it's uh, just diffusing in terms of geographic neighbors, but across neighbors who are linked socially because of the relationship between gangs in those neighborhoods. So is this something you're, you, you've, any of the findings really surprising or do you think it's the kind of thing that's sort of common sense but you've proven now in a scientific method? Um, I think there are some surprising findings in, in one of the, one of the um, findings to emerge from some work we, we, we did years ago, an evaluation of a gun violence project, is uh, it's been well established that there's a diffusion of benefits geographically, but we also demonstrated that by uh, focusing on two nodes in a, in, in a network of gangs, that uh, the benefits uh, diffused socially through the network and that the rivals of those gangs that were receiving additional resources and attention from the police actually abated their, uh, uh, suppressed their uh, activity levels as well. Well, picking up on, on this social aspect, this seems like this is a, quite a key development in the human terrain analysis, that one of the big things that came out of the London riots was, it, was that so much of it was organized through, well, cloud-based systems social and social and systems. Social. Yeah, that, that's really not part of what I do. It's more the just uh, patterns of association, who's, who's seen hanging out with whom. And so there's lots of work that uh, is going on moving forward and uh, trying to infer larger group, suck, set, larger group uh, structure from observing just uh, samples of patterns of association. Well, thank you very much for speaking with My us. I'm really pleasure. looking forward to seeing what you have to say later on in the session. Thank you. Thank Cheers. You.